वेलकम टू टुडेज एडिशन ऑफ अमेरिकन विजन आम हरप्रीत सिंह टूर मेरे वालों आप सब में प्यार भरी सत श्रीकाल नमस्कार आदाब एंड शलोम वी ऑलवेज हाक अबाउट पॉलिटिक्स एंड अदर थिंग्स ऑन द शो बट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट समथिंग व्हिच इज व्हिच हैज ऑलवेज बीन वेरी क्लोज टू माय हार्ट पीपल अज्यूम आई एम वेरी वेल एजुकेटेड आई एम नॉट बट एट द सेम टाइम एजुकेशन हैज ऑलवेज बीन close to my heart and um, try to do a lot of things in my life and today we are going to discuss something which we are trying to do right here in new york and uh, to achieve that of course i want you to understand what exactly it is ajj da show a jehda ede vich jehdi vi main ek ek gall karni hai onu dhyan naal please suniyo us ton baad tuhanda koi bhi sawal hoya ईमेल भी मेरी स्क्रीन के उत्ते आ जानी है मेरे दो टैलीफोन नंबर जोड़े मेरे को हो गए वो भी स्क्रीन के उत्ते आ जाने है मैं कॉल करके ती टैक्सट करके पूछ सकते हो मैं पता भी टैक्स सीजन है मैं टैक्स बिजी हाँ इस भी कोई शक नहीं पर थोड़े जोड़े सवाल हो गए उन्हों का जवाब थोड़ा जरूर दिता जाऊगा जे टैक्सट कर दोगे इट वॉल बी ईजी फॉर मी जे कॉल करोगे तो नैचुरली मैं I have to tell you that I know what to call Carlo. So I'm I'm just going to start by saying that we had been working. When I say we, it means a couple of people, not just her present tour, but there were some other people also who were who are involved in this thing for quite a couple of months, for last couple of months, and we have spent some money on it also uh, from our own pockets, and we will spend some more money on it. and uh, would we succeed i don't know but the effort is to succeed i don't start something with the in mind that okay let us try you know if nothing no 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 when i talk about it when i commit about something yeah it may take time but not going to give it up so we are planning to start a charter school in south east queens which is consist of richmond hill ozone park south ozone park and jamaica area that's the hub of south asian community so i'm going to ch- talk about what a charter school is yeah you probably have heard the names and there are people who may understand what charter school is but there are very few people who really understand what a charter school is and how it works So today I'm using this program today's American Vision to explain to the viewers that this is what I have been working on and this is going to be a progressive work and uh, we will be happy if somebody wants to call on the show also uh, you are most welcome but at the same time even after the show anybody texting me reaching out to me on the email we will be in touch and we will try to answer all your questions to the best of our ability so let me introduce you somebody who has been working on the paperwork and application process for this project which is a huge project susanna susanna kaplan thanks susanna thanks for coming in it's a pleasure to be here and as you say we've been working as a team to prepare an application to be granted a charter by the regents of um the board of education regents of new york state who are the people who deliver charters or give charters to groups who've applied um charter schools are public schools charter schools are free for the people who use them as are they are not religious schools they are public schools correct and that's a really good point they may not be religious schools um religious schools cannot receive a charter there is a real division between and they cannot get state and, and federal uh, state and city funding either right correct okay so let's uh, i i just want to make sure that the people understand because i do not want anybody taking it that we are starting a six school or a punjabi school you know mm-hmm. we are starting a charter school what the charter school is and what entails to start a school okay go ahead so i think that what we're looking to do is take southeast asian um cultural 
um, beliefs and infuse it in an American curriculum. By that, I mean the value system of appreciating the family life, appreciating the community, valuing education, and- Commitment um, to the education from our point of view, from the South Asian point of view. Correct. And um, also service, the importance of service throughout oh, yeah, your life, yeah, because, beginning at the youngest ages. Yeah, because, because you cannot, you cannot uh, make a person a real good educator unless and until that person learns how to serve the community at large. And obviously there are a lot of people who believe that, like mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. um, that if we were to have a school that did exemplify these values, we would be able to deliver um, a better form of education, that we would be able to better educate the students who come there, and we'd also be able, in a charter school, to have partnerships with the families that often are um, not a, a practical thing in a public school. Public schools in um, Actually, I would say probably every city, every county in this country over the last 20 years have become more and more alike. There's been a real belief in standardization. You hear a lot about the curriculum standards, and certainly we want the students in our school to succeed at any type of standardized test and to really have um, internalized the meaning of the standards. But there are a lot of different ways to get there. And we think that we can develop a route that's going to be better for everybody. That's going to be better, clearly, first of all, for the students, because schools are really designed to help students, but also for their families, because schools are important places for the adults who support the students. So for the faculty, when you have a faculty. That, that, that interaction between the parents and the teachers Correct. Uh, the students and the parents, students and the teachers, right. three-way communication, two-way communication, direct communication, right. all that. Uh, the question comes in, you know, why a charter school will be better than the public school if it is just like a public school? Well, that's a great question, and it's certainly worth asking. I think that our hope is that we're not going to be just like the public school, that we're going to be able to, through thought, through study, and through finding people who are like-minded, develop um, a warm and nurturing educational place so that public schools often complain that the children don't come to school. I'm going to say to you, learning is very natural. Learning is one of the most um, innate feelings that people have. And when children don't want to learn, when students aren't um, engaged in learning. The problem is the adult who set up the learning environment. So that those are problems. We believe that what's going to happen is we're going to have children who, if they have, wake up with a sore throat and can't come to school, they're going to be disappointed. They're going to be upset. Um, that we're going to have parents who have so much faith in us that they're going to want to bring their children to school as much as they can, and that we're also going to be a school that has a lot of opportunities for parents to come in in and many also, different and ways. Also, and also the, the aim is to provide the kids that environment where even if the parents sometimes feel like, okay, you are sick, stay home, but the kid says, no, 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 right. I want to go to school. Right? Right. Absolutely. And, and to achieve all those goals, um, you know, Yes, we are going. To, we have to talk about you know. After the break, I'm going to talk about the funding and the tuitions. But there is something which I want to touch again before we take the break. On the charter school, like a public school, what is the difference between the management of a charter school and a public school? The difference between the mission. The management. The, oh, okay. That's a really good point. The management in public schools is top down. So what happens is basically people, I mean the chancellor doesn't write all the curriculum, but he has people who work for him who do. And then the curriculum is delivered to the schools, the principals deliver the curriculum to the teachers, and they're given a calendar that says, you know, on Monday, 
be on chapter one, do a unit test on Wednesday. What we're hoping to do, well, I'm not, I shouldn't say hoping, but what we will do is have something that's more organic. We know certain things have to happen at certain ages. And when you have teachers who understand developmental phases, it, it's a part of them. They can, they can look at students and know where they should be. And we want to give them more freedom in the delivery of the curriculum. And we want to have a more meaningful curriculum. Um, we don't want people to walk in and see our students, for example, coloring in on worksheets. And there's nothing wrong with coloring in. And we'll be happy to give them that to take home if they want. But we want them really to have opportunities to explore, to experiment, to be involved with their um, peers, with the teachers, to have teacher guidance, to be involved in projects that they find are interesting, to be able to answer questions about the and world. Ask, uh, and not only able to answer questions, but also ask questions so that they can grow. Let's take a break. After the break, we'll be right back. Welcome back to American Vision. I am a man who is 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 a once again, 718-786-5222. Uh, continuing where we left our discussion. Okay, we were talking about, um, you know, because every school, there is money involved for the staff, for the teacher, for the building and everything. Okay. So the next question which comes to, which is going to come from the parents is, do they have to pay? And then, uh, Certainly, that's something very close to a parent's heart and certainly their pocketbook. Um, no, the funding goes with the child. So um, the way schools are funded is every child in the school is awarded or um, appropriated a certain amount of money, um, let's say $15,000. If the child goes to the public school around the corner, that school gets the $15,000. If the child goes to the charter school, that school gets the money. And this goes back to what you were asking before. How do you use the money? Big systems, and New York City is the biggest system in the country, um, uses part of their money to communicate among the different schools. So for example, I was talking about buying curriculums. They buy big curriculums that can be used all over, and they have people who come around and guarantee that you're doing it. I guess one of the ways that we can use our money more effectively is we know we're going to do it because that's what we're committed to do. Hold your thoughts. Just want to explain again the funding parents because funding the city and state actually that's why charter schools are uh, we need the permissions and everything the city and state will transfer the funds which they pay to a general public school to a charter school which will be reporting ultimately to the same authorities but being run by an administration which will be independent from that bureaucratic setup. Uh, there is a call coming in, then we'll move to uh, real quick. Hello? Hello. This is such a great idea, and I wanted to ask you, what can the community do to help make this a reality? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you heard the question. Uh, what kind of input do we need from the community? We need input just like that. We need people, for example, to call in. We, will, we need people to comment. And we plan to have a lot of events in the community. And we hope that people will come out um, and come to the events and tell us specifically some of their needs, some of their thoughts. Um, ultimately, it would be great if we get people who will commit to sending their children there. 
Um, we plan on opening in September 2020. Um, but we want a school that works for the community and that the community feels vested in. So we so really want them to be involved. Yeah, basic, uh, basically we, we, we are looking at where the community feels that this is our school, not like any right. other school. Right, right, exactly. So that they can feel like uh, they can come to the uh, management and they, they can talk about it because management is going to be diverse culturally right. as well as linguistically. Right. right, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, you know, uh, sometime on public schools, uh, there are issues where the kids can be um, just not listening to the teachers or not paying any attention. How in charter school, the charter school, how the charter school will make a difference in those kids to keep them more like, okay, you know what? This is for your benefit, not for your parents' benefit, because you will make your life better. The greatest prevention for any type of misbehavior is a good curriculum. If a student is involved, they don't have time to worry about not listening or worrying about acting out. As responsible adults, it's really um, our job, and I mean, you know, the people who work in the school, the people who work in the school, if they need to reach out to the families, to figure out what is going to enable each child to succeed, because we really begin <coughs> with the premise that each may learn. Because, okay, then on the staffing also, okay, there are going to be questions, because it's a charter school, if the management is being run by divorce management, which is not obligate, which is not bound to the chancellor, mm -hmm. even though they may be responsible to report to the chancellor. Right. Okay. The sta hiring of the staff, which you or I would prefer that, okay, you know what, I want the best staff. Right. So how much role that bureaucratic setup can play to control the hiring of the staff well, actually, charter, or can they? Ch well, charter schools are, it's interesting because they have a lot of leeway in terms of who they can hire. Now, um, I know that we've talked about this a little bit between ourselves before because we do want people who are the best that we can get. So we want people who believe in our vision, who believe in sort of um, creating curriculum that meets the needs of children, that enables them to work through projects, work with materials. Um, we've said that we want people who are certified teachers, and one of the criticism of some charter schools has been that their people are um, brought in for very little money. Our interest is really to take the money we have and invest it in educational experiences for students, which include having good teachers and paying teachers fairly, paying them so that they want to stay, and also paying them so that they feel the um, pride of being a professional so that they feel they're being treated like a professional. Um, we want to have people, um, therapists for example, who can go in the classroom because by having people involved in a community atmosphere is how people learn. I mean that's um, how General ed teachers learn what special ed teachers do, and special ed teachers learn what general ed teachers do. And that we're looking to have something that's more authentic, that's more organic, and that's going to meet the needs of all the stakeholders, of the children, of the staff, um, in a more natural way. And I think we can. I've seen schools like this work. One of the things with charter schools is that you do tend to have a very involved board. You tend to have involved parents. You tend to have management working right alongside the teachers. And that makes for good communication and it makes for so healthy is, environments. It, so it is a commitment to make the kids succeed by Correct. the management. Correct. And the teachers. And I'm glad that you put it that way because I think that that's a really important point. That we're looking at each child and we're saying we're going to teach this child how to learn. That we're really about 
learning to learn because if we can do that for children they can go off and be anything you could teach them everything you know about being an accountant and they can grow up and be an accountant but if we give them the building blocks of what they need to know if we teach them how to learn so they're not the kids staying up all night three nights in a row in college to to pass the test because they understand how to learn developmentally they will have a rich and intellectually full life and once you have an intellectually full life you're able to do anything uh, again i know i did mention that uh, it is going to be located in southeast queens okay yeah we discussed within our own group why southeast queens why richmond hill ozone park south ozone park but sometimes you know like they say it's better if it comes from the horse's mouth why did we pick up that area well actually that area has been identified as being in need of charter schools and also as being in need of more seats in the public schools that in that neighborhood correct that you have um, throughout <coughs> Queens you have six charter schools Brooklyn has 22 um, there's oh, that's interesting even though Queens has the most diverse population mm -hmm. but we have only six charter schools right and so how many we have in Manhattan 21 hmm okay go ahead we we don't have that much time I just want you to go over you know why we picked up the area so that the people can understand why we did pick it up that's um, it's it's been targeted by the Board of Ed it's been targeted by New York City Charter School Society and it's also been targeted by people in the community who say um, I, I think that I could use something else I think that I could use another alternative when I'm looking for something that really meets the needs of um, my family we don't know of any other school that is really promising to develop the same type of culture um, within a very American curriculum and by that I mean we're really going to prepare children to succeed in school um, and so we basically we're trying to say here that we will prepare we will try to prepare the kids to be next uh, Alan Musk or uh, to dream about going to the Mars or everything we will do our mm -hmm. part right um, and I'm going to say that we're not going to try we will prepare them to do that that they will come out um, and be challenged and vested in everything that they do uh, we have only about 30 seconds left what would you like to say in those 30 seconds please come join us <laughs> thank you and uh, you have the email the telephone numbers please 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 feel free to send us any question and we will make sure that you get the answers and as we progress in this uh, and the hour we will keep you posted ਜਿਉਂ ਜਿਉਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਅੱਗੇ ਤੁਰੇ ਜਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਇਹਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਰਹਾਂਗੇ ਚਾਹੇ ਟੀਵੀ ਤੋਂ ਜਾਂ ਨਿਊਜ਼ਪੇਪਰ ਦੇ ਥਰੂ ਐਂਡ ਟਿਲ ਨੈਕਸਟ